Welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of July 22nd. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Nicole Eredix. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today's Thursday, which means it's time to give in to our obsessing about parenting details big and small. And today, we're obsessing about all those little manners and details of etiquette that we have to figure out for ourselves, first off, and then we have to teach our kids. I've been thinking about this this week because I had a bridal shower to go to. And I go to bridal showers from time to time, but not close enough that I remember what I did the last time. And so every time it comes up, it's like, so what's an appropriate amount of money to spend on a bridal shower? And when I go to a bridal shower, do I just sign my name on the card or do I sign my family's name on the card? And what if it's a relative of my husband's? I'm not sure they even know who I am outside of him being there? Do I have to put his name? Do I have to put my full name? And then doesn't that seem kind of unfriendly? Stupid stuff, but I feel that this is just sort of etiquette that adults are supposed to know. And, you know, fortunately, we live in a time of crowdsourcing. So you can go on the internet and say, how do I sign my name on a, on a bridal shower card? And there will be like 50 things on Google say with people having exactly that same question and people telling them what to do. Or as I did also, I can come to, you know, my friends on Facebook and say, what do you guys do about this? How much do you spend? What kind of card do you get? So that is very helpful, but I'm going to forget it by the next next one. <laughs> um, and so then, so I feel like kind of discombobulated by a lot of those sort of adult things that somehow I never really learned, whereas it looks like other people know how to do it. Just great. Uh, but then I get into situations with my kids where I need to tell them how to do stuff like that. And I don't know what to tell them. You know, like, you know, what to bring to a birthday party. How much do you spend on a birthday present? How do you sign the card? Should you sign love? Should you just sign your name? Um, you know, what are the right ways to just do certain social things? Mm -hmm. They're looking mm -hmm. to me for that information. And I'm afraid to give it to them because what if it's wrong? So basically, I just obsess about it, and they finally just say, oh, forget about it. <laughs> they don't, I don't know what they do, or they don't do anything at all. They don't go. They don't talk to somebody. You know, how do you bring this up with somebody? Oh, uh, well, let me think. So are you guys feeling socially clueless ever, or am I the only person who never got the guidebook when I reached a certain <laughs> age to tell me what to do? It seems, I guess it's also regional because maybe, you know, there was one set of rules where I grew up in California and there's another set of rules in New Jersey that is entirely possible. Right. So. Um, and I, like you said about, you know, you do these things periodically like graduations and yeah that sort of thing, baptism, whatever. And mm -hmm. if there's an older sibling, you're like, oh. How much How much yes. did I give in the graduation card for the older sibling? Right. No idea. <gasps> so right. I hope they don't remember because yes. I'm just going to give the amount that I think is right right now. And maybe that's the same as it was yeah. three years ago. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. not. I don't know. That is know. bad. I try to go back and look at the check I wrote at the time. But now, I mean, a lot of things... I don't write checks that much anymore and it's hard to find or if it was a long time ago it's hard to find yeah. and the bank doesn't keep it that long and I I feel like people remember I, mm -hmm. you know I, I remember when my husband and I got married we sat uh, here in New Jersey you get money for weddings and I, the next day before we left on our honeymoon, we sat with his mother and we opened the cards and we saw how much money people gave us. And she was comparing it in her head to a ledger she had obviously carefully kept <laughs> of how much she gave their kids. Mm -hmm. And some people got an oh, and some people got a hmm. Mm. <laughs> so I feel like every time I give a gift, there's somebody going oh or hmm <laughs> and finding me either – ridiculously generous or sadly wanting one right. or the other. Yeah. It's, it's overwhelming a little bit. And it's, I feel stupid to feel overwhelmed by it because this is just, this is just what people do. And, you know, I obsess about it to my husband who just rolls his eyes because he cannot, you know, he doesn't care right. what people yeah. think. Well, but and I do. as far <laughs> as teaching your kids, it's like, you know, you don't think of it until you're in it. And then, yes. Mm -hmm. it, 
when when they're facing it, will they ask or will they just yes make it up? <laughs> yeah, it's like those long lists of things. Like, make sure your kid knows these eighteen things before they turn right. eighteen, and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, crap, I'm way behind. <laughs> yeah, and it's just constantly evolving too. And the etiquette that I learned is not the etiquette. Like, we didn't learn social media etiquette when we were younger. Well, sure, yeah. So now, for example, with Kristen, she is, she has a little, she does, um, like little side gigs with photography. Yeah. Every mm-hmm. once in a while. And, um, so she just did some photos for a friend and the mom was trying to organize a time and location to meet to get these photos done. And, and I, you know, it, it was obvious that Kristen wasn't, responding right away to the mom and I was like <laughs> I had to intervene I said Kristen yeah. if you're trying to make money and run a little you know get a little gig thing going here uh-huh. you have to be responsive people want to make plans people need to know yeah. like you can't take two days to reply <laughs> so even though it was over text message you know the mm-hmm. the communication because I mean who talks over the phone anymore yeah um, but it's just little stuff like that. I find that, you know, be responsive, get back to them, return right. the, you know, return the text. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, and I, yeah, I find myself asking stuff. my daughter, like, oh, did, did you get this particular email that we were expecting? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I did. I'm like, oh, oh my God, know, right? you have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't check their email. They do not. Yes, it is. That is true. Not even in their ream of like understanding that emails can be important. Yes. <laughs> my daughter checks her emails, but my son does not, nor does my husband. So I am like, <laughs> like the email monitor. Yeah. 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 I feel like I need to, well, yeah, be like that more with my daughter. I mean, and it's, I think, I don't know if it's just a phase or not because with my son, he checks his email now, but I think because having gone through university, they send everything through email. Yeah. So he's gotten into that routine, but, um, you know, he's getting to that age, but yeah. And then of course, like you said, regional, and then of course, just different mm-hmm. countries. I mean, we had yes. a lot of learning to do when we moved here in terms right. of. Mm-hmm. from Canada to the States in terms of etiquette. So, yeah, the whole tipping thing is a lot mm. different here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I brought that up, I know, with my daughter. Like, they all go to Applebee's, like, on Friday nights, and everything's discounted, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm always like, do how much money do you have? Do you have enough money? Oh, yeah, I'd only get, you know, yeah. it's half. Half apps, you know, everything's half price. Like, but you know, you have to tip on the full amount, right? Yeah. Like, you can't leave these wait staff hanging when their their whole station is full of high schoolers yeah. and they're not making any money yeah, at all. Yeah. Make sure, you tip. Yeah, yeah, I know. My yeah. kids just have decided to never go to a restaurant where you have to do that. <laughs> they just they go to fast food all the time. <laughs> They'll go to tipping restaurants with us because they just like do not want to deal. Oh, no, it's us. yeah. It's complicated. We had, I remember actually when we first, when, um, we first moved here, we actually, we were in, I don't know, some restaurant and, uh, my husband stopped somebody just like we were paying the bill at our table and somebody was walking past and he stopped them and he's like, so what's the real tipping policy here? <laughs> <laughs> like what's a fellow patron or a, somebody who worked there? Um, it was, uh, uh, just another patron. I think yeah. just another person who was walking by, you know, dining and <laughs> because it turned, you know, it was like right, 20% or something, right? 20% is the norm here now. Mm-hmm. And, in, you know, when we were living in Canada, it was not that much. <laughs> so we're like, okay. Have you taught your kids the etiquette of when you go out to dinner with another family? Do not order the most expensive thing on the menu. Oh, yeah. Because mm. when when we take our kids out, it seems like they have not learned that lesson. <laughs> and it's like, well, I guess when you're with us, just order whatever you want. But it's like if you go without with somebody else, buy a grilled cheese sandwich, you know? Yeah. Don't, don't be ordering a milkshake with your steak dinner and dessert. Yeah. I were, as, when they, as, my kids were younger and they would be going to another friend's house, I'm like, remember – 
you don't ask for food. <laughs> like, <laughs> you wait until it is offered to you. <sighs> yeah. These things that, like, don't turn up in a book and that nobody tells you, but then you're mortified when it becomes clear that your child doesn't know. Yeah. 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 And I, that your child thinks you're stupid to be even proposing it. <laughs> I nobody thought cares I taught about that, my mom. kids and my son, but, yeah. It's, <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> he just doesn't think about it. But we took one of his friends for dinner a while back. They joined us for dinner. And, um, yeah, so we all ordered a drink. And then this person went on to order four <gasps> more. Oh, <laughs> my. Yeah. So it was kind of like, ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wonder if adults, there are adults who never got that lesson. Because oh, yeah. there's been times when we've, like, gone out for a birthday and in, in in my circles if you go out someplace with the kids the parents come along so you wind up you know buying dinner for everybody and and I notice that some people seem to not not ever have to have been taught do not order the most expensive thing off the menu lesson yeah well, I find that if I'm out with a group of a mix of parents and kids we usually are able to split the check and then it's yeah. like you know you put Put mine with that kid over there, and then my yeah. friend says, "Put mine with that other, you right. know, the blonde and whatever." And yeah, so then, I mean, yeah. which I'm sure is delightful for the servers, but right, they seem to be pretty yeah. used to it at this point. I guess. Yeah, this has been times when we've been treating, you know, because it's been like a birthday yeah. party or something, yeah. and I have noticed it. But uh, I, you know, it seems seems important to me. Especially as dining out has gotten, I mean, I feel like the oldest person in the world when I go out to what I used to think of as a cheap chain restaurant and it's, the meals are $20 each. And it's like, this is not right. It should be $20 for everybody. (laughs) And I love those, I love it when you get, you know, you have those friends that it's just, it's okay at the beginning to tell the server this, these will be separate checks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I just, Definitely. I love those friends that, you know, when you've gotten to yeah. that point where it's like, yeah, yeah just that's separate checks helpful. for all of us. Right. So have what you want. But, uh, and you know, another thing that I, I try to get my kids to learn, especially as adults that I don't, I don't, I notice that other parents, kids don't seem to do it, which makes me wonder if my kids do it while I'm not looking is to like, say, thank you. If somebody drives you somewhere. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're g- getting a kid a ride, if you're giving a kid a ride, that kid should be saying thank you for the ride when they get out of your car. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a normal piece of etiquette. But do you find that you do not get that from other ch- people's children as often as you would like, or do I just have a particularly ungrateful circle of passengers? I usually get it. I would say. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's good. I, think, I hope my yeah. kids say it. But yeah, that it occurs to me that other kids say it to me, but I have no idea if my kids say it. Yeah. You know, because I'm not, I can't be sure that I would have explicitly told them to do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, so maybe I better. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small thing, but it feels, it feels like you're due. You know, mm-hmm. if I don't get it, even if I have reasons, I know there are reasons why the kid didn't say it. I still yeah. grumble a little bit. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I I have to say the one thing, though, that really, the you know, when you talk about differences in etiquette in different mm-hmm. places, and and this is actually one of those situations where it's like it's okay in one place, but it's not okay in another. Yeah. And so where, you know, we taught our kids um, just, grow, you know, living in Canada – Whenever somebody says something and you can't hear them or you need to have them repeat it, you say, pardon me. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, um, here in Southern California, <laughs> you don't get that. <laughs> you Speak get a lot of grandma is what you get. <laughs> you get a lot of, huh? <laughs> you know, everybody says, huh? <laughs> and so my daughter, she actually, her friends got upset with her one day because they, she, they said something and she asked them to repeat it and she said, pardon me. And they mm-hmm. said, why are you being so snarky with us? Like, why are you, like, why are you saying that? Because they were taking it as to be like, pardon me. <laughs> yeah. <know>? Like, <laughs> and she says, no, 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 that's not how it's meant to be. Right. I'm just, 
want to know yeah. what you said. Yeah. Yeah. And so they were actually offended that she huh. was saying, pardon me. And, <laughs> um, yeah, it was kind of one of those. And I said, don't stop doing that. Just yeah. one right. person got Because yeah, they don't understand it. They don't yeah. understand. <sighs> um, yeah. So that was kind of a weird, that's been a big adjustment. I have to say that has been one of our bigger yeah. adjustments. But huh. Yeah. Well, we hope you'll pardon us for <laughs> saying goodbye to you now for today's episode. But we will be back tomorrow when we'll share our roundabout roundup of things we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. 